Welcome to the TYT Sports Locked Out Studios. Ben Mankiewicz, Rick Strom. So, uh, Game 5, uh, mm -hmm. the NBA Finals tonight. I was surprised at the statistic that is now widely bandied about that teams down 3-1 in the NBA Finals are 0-30. Oh because there have been some, not even a few, there have been more than a few 3-1 comebacks in seven-game series. Sure. But never in the finals. I, I did not realize that until the last two days. Well, I mean, how do you think? Firstly, I think the Heat win tonight. I think they close it out. I think they have way too much momentum going into this game. They're playing at home. The 2-3-2 format, as we also discussed off the air, is horrific. But it favors the Heat in this situation, obviously. Right, and it will favor the Thunder if they can pull out this game. Do you think the Heat win tonight? Well, I mean, they're favored. They should be favored. The last two games have gone similarly uh, in the Heat taking control in the fourth quarter. What was interesting, though, about game four was the Heat, you go into a game where you lead in the fourth quarter in game four by a point, right? Or maybe game three, excuse me. You lead game three by a point heading into the, heading into the fourth quarter. You turn the ball over nine times in the quarter, and you win. Yeah. That was really surprising, but the Thunder couldn't score. The Thunder couldn't take advantage of those turnovers. Um, I, I, I feel like the Thunder have as much of a chance to win this game as they did games three or four. Uh, I don't believe in momentum with professional athletes with two days in between. The Thunder is a great team, capable of winning this game. The Heat at home should be favored. They are. I'd say they have a 75% chance of winning this game. No, it easily could have been 3-1 in favor of the Thunder, but they made some questionable plays. By the way, Scott Brooks, would you say, is not that good of a coach as I have seen, as it has unraveled, at least to me personally, in the finals. I feel like he's getting outcoached by, you ready for this? Eric Spolstra. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it, it has, I mean, no, I think he's a very good coach. I think the last two seasons I, have proven that with this team he's a good coach. Um, you uh, know, look, too, too much isolation, as I see it. I understand the NBA is isolation. Well, but, what, uh, but the, I, mean, I mean, I see no offense. I see no moving. I In game four, okay, to end the third quarter, whoever brought up the ball for the Thunder took the air out of the ball and then took the shot. There was no passing. There was no movement. I see no movement with this team in the second half. They are very reliant on these two. Well, they're very reliant on these two guys scoring and obviously the incredibly difficult series that James Harden has had for the last three games yeah. has, uh, has made that more evident how reliant they are on Westbrook and Durant. Obviously, the Heat similarly reliant, although the Heat has had other guys Although apparently Mario Chalmers is a superstar now. Yeah, man, you get yelled at enough by LeBron James, uh, uh, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. Yeah. <laughs> apparently you responded. Apparently you put up 22 uh, points and 20, score 20, the biggest 25, bucket I think in the game. Had, I think you had 25. Was it 25? Yeah. And you score the biggest bucket in the game. Uh, well, I think LeBron had the biggest bucket there, that three. But the uh, but yeah, they, 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 made, they made... But with LeBron on the bench. Yeah, that was And big, Chalmers making that layup, that yeah, driving no, layup. Yep. Man, can he finish at the rim? Jeez. No, he's a good player. He's a, he's a really good part to have on a team and obviously a guy like that if the Thunder had a guy like Chalmers it would it would make a difference but but if Harden played the way Harden is capable of playing they can win this game now what was interesting to me is that for all the talk about about what this meant and 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 what these games meant I was most struck uh, you know about what it says about LeBron what it says about the Thunder's inability to execute offensively and those are all fair points I mean the Thunder this offseason what they should work on is figuring out easier ways for Kevin Durant to get open because it's tough, they, as you say, it is really. But hang on, here's the thing, and like, look, I, I will totally own up to bashing Shane Battier because I bash him a lot. I think he flops way too much, along with probably everyone else in the NBA. But his his defense on Durant and his ball denial. There were many times I, I, where they tried to get Durant the ball and he just couldn't get it. It's a thing with Durant, though. I, I grant you, Battier, no question, he's played well. But Durant has struggled all year, all career, like getting open getting the ball it is not as easy to get Kevin Durant the ball once he's got the ball he makes magical things happen but he didn't he didn't in game four though fourth quarter he had one big bucket when he was when no, Battier was guarding him the little one dribble and up and that was it. he doesn't get the ball in good spots yeah. he doesn't get the ball in good spots very it's far from the basket something they struggle with